So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can rig your avatar for VRChat with WiseMe, Blinks and uh, iBlinks. So it's going to be covering everything from scratch on how to rig an avatar and how to export to Unity, plus create shape keys and also set up everything for VRChat and lastly upload to VRChat and test the avatar. So first thing first, we need to download the VRM add-on in order to make sure the rig is working correctly. So armature is the first thing we'll need. People usually go for Mixamo, but in my case, I use the VRM armature itself. To get a VRM armature, you gotta download the VRM plugin. If you don't have the VRM plugin, just follow along. Type in VRM Blender add-on. I'm also gonna be giving the link in the description. So there you go, we got a GitHub link. I'm gonna click on it, and then I'm gonna download the add-on. In my case, it's already downloaded, so I'm gonna cancel. So here in Blender, you gotta go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install. You gotta select the add-on and then install add-on. After installing it, you gotta type in VRM here. And then you gotta make sure the add-on is checked. Now if you press Shift A, go to Armature, and then go to VRM Humanoid. So we got an armature here, you can go to armature properties, you can go to object data properties, viewport display, and then check in front. Now we are going to be making some changes into this armature. The first thing I'm going to do is go to edit mode and delete this root bone over here. I'm going to hit delete and then bones. So once it's deleted, I'm going to align the foot bones first. I'm going to press one on my numpad. I'm gonna go to side mode by pressing 3 I'm gonna grab the toe here I'm gonna make sure the X axis is turned on I'm gonna press G and then Y and then I'm gonna press G and then Z so I think it's looking pretty nice here I'm gonna select the start of foot bone and then I'm gonna drag it here now I'm gonna select the head of the lower leg I'm gonna press G and then place it on the knee. Wow, I just rhymed. Lastly, select the upper leg. Actually, I'm gonna select the head of the upper leg. I'm gonna press G and then place it between the thigh and the hip, somewhere here. Okay, so now we're gonna press 1 on the numpad to go to front mode. I'm in front view. I'm gonna press G, move it to the center. I'm gonna select the knee, I'm gonna press G, and then I'm gonna select both of these bones right here. I'm gonna select both of these bones right here, I'm gonna press G and move it here. I'm gonna make sure it's properly aligned, and I think the legs are looking pretty good at the moment. Okay, yeah, so it's working. I'm gonna press 3 on the numpad. I'm gonna select all of these bones here. I'm gonna press G and then Y and move them on the center. Okay, now I'm gonna select this bone. I'm gonna place it here. This bone, I'm gonna place it somewhere here. This bone, I'm gonna place it right here. I'm gonna press 1 to go to the front view. Yep. I'm gonna select the head of this bone and move it here. And this right here is supposed to be the neck bone. So I'm gonna select the head of the neck bone and I'm gonna make sure it's assigned properly to the neck. Actually, these hand bones are annoying at the moment, so I'm gonna select all of these. I'm pressing C. I'm pressing C to go to circle select. So I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna press G and then X to move them away. So I'm gonna move the whole neck and the head bone a little backwards. Yep, I think it's looking good here. And same for this bone. Somewhere here. This bone too. Okay, nice. Lost this bone, I guess. Yep. So. Now I'm going to set the neck bone into a right position and then I'm going to select the head of the head bone it rhymed again I'm going to press G and then Z and move it somewhere here ok looking pretty nice and these right here are eye bones and these are also necessary and the VRM armature do give us eye bones while the Mixamo armature doesn't give us eye bones so this armature is pretty cool so setting up eye bones is a little bit tricky we need an origin of the eye so we are gonna first select an origin and then we're gonna place the eye bones on that origin so I'm gonna go select the mesh I'm gonna go to edit mode 
I'm gonna select the whole eyeball here. I'm gonna press dot on the numpad. Okay, and then I'm gonna press two, or you can go to edge mode from here. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna select Alt and then click here to select this whole edge loop, and I'm gonna press Shift S and cursor to select it. And there we go. We got a nice origin right here. Now I'm gonna select the left eye bone. I'm gonna press Shift S, selection to cursor, and boom, it's on the correct point now. Okay, so I'm gonna press Shift C to. Then I'm gonna press Shift C to reset the origin to its original position. Shift C. Okay, I'm gonna press one on the numpad to go to front view. Okay. You need to make sure that you save your files. I'm gonna select all of the arm bones. I'm gonna press G and then get it to this position. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna select the, the shoulder, left shoulder bone. I'm gonna press G and then X to get it somewhere here. Okay. I'm gonna go to front view and I'm gonna make sure it's right on the shoulder somewhere here. And then I need to press. Uh, and then I'm gonna select this corner. I'm gonna press G and then Y. It needs to be somewhere here. So these are supposed to be color bones. Okay, nice. So I'm gonna again press one on the numpad, and then I'm gonna assign some of these bones onto the correct position. The wrist is supposed to be a bit longer, so I'm gonna scale it. Okay, nice. So I'm gonna move these bones backwards. I'm gonna press G and then Y the keyboard. So now I think the elbow and the shoulder is assigned correctly you need to make sure the elbow is pointing a bit outwards it will be necessary in arm tracking so then I'm gonna select the end of the wrist bone G and then X to move it backwards G and then Z to move it on the center then we need to make sure that it's snap mode is on and we gotta change the mode to volume after that I'm gonna select all the thumb bones I'm gonna press G boom Now if I select end of one bone and press G, it's gonna be moved to the center because of this option right here. I'm gonna do this for all the finger bones. Okay, so now it's nicely done what I'm gonna do next is select the mesh and then shift select the armature I'm gonna press I'm gonna press ctrl P and then I'm gonna press with automatic weights it's gonna take some time so I'm gonna skip the process okay so it's done I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna check if it's working correctly um, uh, yes I think it is working correctly and the wrist fingers yes yes yeah so the weight paints are perfect now in my case the model is rather simple but in your case the model might be complex so if the weight paint is not going perfectly for your part you can join my discord server and contact me there and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and help you out okay so i need to show you something so here's the eye bone so as you can see the eye bone is moving the whole face what I do is a simple workflow and I'm gonna show you to solve this issue right here what you need to do is go to edit mode on the mesh press A to select the whole mesh press A to select all of the faces and in the vertex group type in I and here we got I L and I R I'm gonna select both these groups and press remove and then now if we go onto object mode and select the eye bone uh, we can see nothing is moving now noise so now I'm gonna select the mesh again go to edit mode and then I'm gonna turn off x-ray I'm gonna select the left eye I'm gonna I'm gonna select the left and right eye and then I'm gonna go to the drop down menu I'm gonna click on remove from all groups 
so once done I'm gonna select the left eye I'm gonna select the left eye vertex group I'm gonna press assign and then same for the right eye and now if you go to pose mode you can see the eye is moving perfectly now okay perfect so let's move on to shape keys now so when it comes to shape keys there are two type of groups so first group consists of really really simple shape keys uh, like really simple just for speaking and stuff and then the second group is like really really advanced and it is much more better so in the second group of shape keys you can track the pupil of your avatar you can track eyebrows you can track the whole mouth and you can basically track everything so i've just created a mini course on shape keys and that is the only course you will need to animate your face without rigging so by watching that course you will be able to create amazing shape keys and you will be able to track eyebrows eyes pupils and every part of the face of your avatar the link of that course is given in the description by accessing udemy from brand new account you can get up to 80 percent discount as well and it's a really really cheap and mini course so you can learn everything in just 30 minutes I would highly suggest you get that course if you are serious about getting an amazing VTuber avatar rig. But I'm also going to be showing you how to create the other group of shape keys which is used for basic tracking. So let's get started on the basic shape keys first. I'm going to hide the armature. I'm going to select the mesh. And the shape keys, I'm going to create a new shape key. It's, it's called basis. And you don't need to touch this one. You got to create another shape key. I'm going to name it A. I'm gonna press tab I'm gonna select the center face of the lower lip of the avatar you need to make sure proportional editing is checked and you also gotta make sure connected only is checked I'm gonna press G and Z to move them out downwards I'm gonna shrink the circle of proportional editing by using a scroll wheel of my mouse and I think it's looking pretty good here now I'm gonna select the lower teeth I'm gonna press G and then Z to move them downwards. I'm gonna select the tongue and I'm gonna move it downwards as well. And boom, I think it's looking good. Next shape key I'm gonna be creating is an eye blink. So I'm gonna name it blink. I'm gonna hit tab to go to edit mode. I'm gonna select the center edge of the top eyelid for both eyelids. So I'm going to press G and then Z to move them downwards. And I think it's looking good here. Okay, nice. Okay, so I've already created three shape keys of mouth. So mouth A, mouth E and mouth O. Uh, now if you want to learn how to create E and O and obviously more shape keys, you, you can buy the course. The link of that course is given in the description. And you can get 80% discount if you buy from a new account. So I'm going to give you a hint, you can create these two shape keys by using this one. So now the next thing we are going to be doing is I'm going to press N. I'm going to go to cats and you need the cats add-on. Uh, I'm going to give the link of cats add-on in the description. So in Vise me A, I'm going to insert mouth A. In O, I'm going to insert O. And in CH, I'm going to insert E and then create Vise me. And after pressing create Vise me, we can see a lot of Vise me's has been created. And now we can export this mall to VRChat. Okay, so now we are going to be creating a new Unity scene. For that purpose, I'm going to open up Unity Hub. And then I'm going to press new project. I'm going to name it VRChat Tutorial. I'm going to create the project. Okay, it's loaded. I'm going to drag the VRC SDK into the Unity scene. all and then import now i'm going to create a new folder in assets i'm going to name it character i'm going to go to my blender scene i'm going to press a to select all the objects i'm going to shift select the armature to make sure it's highlighted i'm going to go to file external data pack resources and then file external data and pack resources that's done i'm going to go to file export fbx i'm going to go to the folder we just created i'm going to do some settings here i'm going to change the path mode to copy make sure the embed texture is checked the selected objects i'm going to select only other mesh and armature i'm going to go to the armature i'm going to uncheck add leaf bones i'm going to name it character 
Okay, so it's exported. I'm gonna go to my Unity scene. I'm gonna let it import. I'm gonna select the character. I'm gonna go to materials folder. I'm gonna change the location to use external materials. I'm gonna go to rig. I'm gonna change the animation type to humanoid. And then I'm gonna go to model. I'm gonna check legacy blend shape normals. I'm gonna hit apply. I'm gonna hit fix now. I'm gonna drag the character into the sample scene. I'm gonna double click it. And it's exported. The only problem we got is the eyes are transparent. So I'm gonna fix it real quick. I'm gonna go to body. So as you can see, the textures of cornea is transparent. I'm gonna change it to opaque. And same for the other cornea. And they just returned. Now I'm gonna select the character. I'm gonna click add component. I'm gonna type in VRC and avatar descriptor. I'm gonna add this script. I'm gonna go to side view and then I'm gonna click here in the view I'm gonna be I'm gonna be positioning it somewhere between the eyes so right in this area once that's done I'm gonna hit return I'm gonna go to lip sync and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit auto detect I'm gonna go to eye look I'm gonna enable it and then I'm gonna assign the eye bones here so click here and then type in eye and assign it i'm gonna change the eyelid type to blend shapes eyelid mesh to the mesh so in the blink i'm gonna assign the blink shape key and as you can see the character just blinks its eye i'm gonna hit return i'm gonna change the other ones to none and boom the character is fully rigged for vr chat now now time to test it select the character go to vrc sdk show control panel and then you gotta sign in. I'm gonna sign it real quick. Okay, I'm logged in. I'm gonna go to Builder. And now you gotta hit Auto Fix wherever you can see it. Now I'm gonna hit Build and Publish. Okay, so now in the avatar name, I'm gonna name it VR Chat Tutorial. Okay, in the description, I'm gonna just type in version 1. And then uh, you gotta take this setting here. And then you gotta hit upload. It's uploaded. So I'm gonna show you the test video right now.